Hey guys, this is a quick video, um, hopefully it's quick, about the definition of tyranny and its relation to the Second Amendment. While the Second Amendment does not specifically state that it is for the protection of us against tyranny, that's what the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are all based around. Because at the time, they were being run by a tyrannical government, and they were freeing themselves of it. They were liberating themselves from tyranny. So that is the basis of all of those documents. Uh, freedom, which is the omission of tyranny, in my opinion. Uh, but when we're talking about assault weapons ban, this isn't just tyranny of government. This is allowing tyranny of evil men to gain the upper hand on citizens. Uh, tyranny is, you know, what definition of it from the interwebs is arbitrary or unrestrained exercise of power. And yeah, that can be used by government, that can be used by, you know, just maniacs on the street. If they try and take what you have, your life, your liberty, anything you have, your possessions they aren't going to follow the government's rules of 10 rounds or less if that rule is passed. Uh, basically, the government is saying that they get to use all of this, 40-rounders, 30-rounders, 15-rounders, when we get stuck with these dinky little 5-round to 10-round magazines. So, gangs with multiple people will get multiple of these. And if they come after you to take your belongings, your valuables, you get this versus that. Hmm. That doesn't seem very liberating to me. Yeah. But the point is, liberty or sorry, tyranny, <laughs> isn't just the government. The government can put it in place and then other forms of, of tyrannical organizations or individuals can come and swoop in and do what they want. Or a lot more easily. Um, reducing citizens to 10 rounds is reducing us to pitchforks against against firearms. I mean, it's it's giving criminals an upper hand, which is bullshit, because we aren't criminals, but we're being treated like them by being restrained in what we can do with our freedoms. It's, it's just, it's pathetic to think that, you know, me, a law-abiding citizen, I guess I do break the law, I speed, I'm sorry, and sometimes I roll through stop signs. I'm not perfect. But I don't commit any violent crimes. Never have. I have no intentions of ever committing a violent crime. But I am going to be restricted in what I can defend myself with. Because people who are criminals are using these things against law-abiding citizens. It just it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that, that criminals are going to get the upper hand even more so if, if they pass any of these assault weapons bans. And to me, that's tyranny running rampant. I mean, it's the government thinking they're going to help us out, but they're actually just going to oppress their people by letting tyrannical individuals and criminals just, you know, do whatever they want. I mean, yeah, they're still going to run into the people with these, these five-round magazines that are going to defend themselves, but... <laughs> It's not going to make a difference if they've got 30 rounds and four people versus you and your family with, you know, a few 10-round magazines. It's, it's stupid. I know this video is kind of poorly put together, um, but it's, it's stupid to think that people are on board with this freaking assault weapons ban, and it sickens me um, to know that my Mr. Chuck Grassley... In Iowa, 
whereas where which is where I am is the co-writer of that fucking bill, and it yeah it frustrates me to no end that there's somebody in my state that is that that much against liberty, and to me he is a tyrant, and I don't like tyrants. So next time I get my chance to to vote, he will not be receiving my vote. And that's about all we can do right now is write our congressmen, write our senators, tell them that we don't want we don't want tyranny to run our state or our country. And then when it's time to vote, we vote them out. We get rid of those people that aren't going to help us. So that's about all I have to say about that. So yeah, tyranny bad, liberty good. And, uh, you know, use your pens, use your computers. Let's get those people out of office. Thanks for watching.